Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we actually ended up seeing a brand new title update go live within Warzone and Modern Warfare 3, the 1.42 title update. It's only like two, three gigs, depending on what exactly you have installed. It shouldn't be anything major unless you're on Xbox, in which case sometimes title updates glitch out and make you reinstall the entire game. But anyways, with this title update, we've got new patch notes for multiplayer zombies in Warzone, including some new meta updates to go through and break down. As you see, we've got our Tuesday, April 9th update. And as we go through everything today, if you enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It's always really appreciated. And if you are new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet, every single day, I got you covered with absolutely all things going on in COD. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. But initially for our global update, so this applies to zombies, Warzone, multiplayer alike, address the crash that could occur when viewing a weapon attachments. Always good to see the stability updates go out. Uh, for customization, resolved various issues with quick equipping weapon charms in the store corrected the display names of the season three prestige emblems nothing too crazy going on there in settings they addressed an issue causing the latency telemetry widget to constantly display na this has been bugged for several weeks now where we haven't been able to see our ping in game unless you turn on like the little monitor thing and then that's just more information blocking things on your screen so now you can actually just see your ping up in the top left like it's been forever it'll actually work as intended cross our fingers on that. We then get into some of the multiplayer specific updates and with UI and UX, quite a few bug fixes here. Armory unlock challenges will now display a splash upon completion. Operators will no longer appear to have two riot shields equipped in the lobby. Removing certain conversion kits is now properly reflected in the gunsmith. Weekly challenge countdown timer will no longer display an invalid time as the mid-season update approaches. Uh, corrected positioning of the FJX Horus in the gunsmith. Calling card and emblem rewards from the mastery completion are now displayed properly in the after action report. Removing a weapon sticker in the gunsmith is no longer going to cause the placement indicators to disappear, and they revise the pro and con labels for multiple attachments to better reflect their true properties. For gameplay updates here, improved deprioritization of spawn locations while any kill streak is active and nearby, so you're not going to spawn right on top of a sentry gun or something like that, for instance. For progression, uh, the Ripper Light stock on the FJX Horus will no longer appear locked and uh, without unlock requirements. Improved the tracking of one shot kills for the What's Your Sign camo on the Moore's Sniper. For maps on shipment, they added additional spawn points to improve the probability of a quality spawn selection in TDM, DOM, and Hardpoint. I mean, it's shipment, I'm still going to end up spawning right on top of enemies or being stuck in a crate with my teammate who's standing in the front but they've added some new spawn points for tanked enemy nameplates are no longer visible through the walls of the tunnel for weapons and attachments here on the assault rifles on the SBA 545 keep in mind as of right now this is just for multiplayer we'll have to see what the war zone updates have in store for us but on the SBA 545 they increase the maximum damage range a ton that makes the SBA really good in multiplayer increase the near to medium damage range as well and the medium damage range so the SBA has actually got crazy range in multiplayer now that's a solid buff for sure. Uh, on SMGs, on the Horus, optic attachments with an integrated laser are no longer compatible with the uh, suppressor muzzle, so you just won't be able to pair those two together and like double up your lasers, I guess. On the TAC Evolver, removed duplicate Zem 35 compensators showing up, so there were just two of them, now there's only one. On the Moore's variable optic, removed the ability to equip this incompatible attachment. And on the charge barrel, improved consistency of penetration damage through enemy operators. For perks with the Ninja Vest, while equipped with reinforced boots, players now gain the effects of the running sneakers. And then on the Compression Carrier, kills with a launcher will now immediately trigger health regen. So that's also been updated. On the EMD Grenade, they changed the tracker removal keybind. Uh, improved prioritization when multiple actions are available for the tracker removal keybind. And tracker removal time is now aligned with the HUD progress bars, which is more accurate. On the Scattermine, the sun effects are now properly applied in hardcore. And on the C4, detonation can no longer occur until stuck to a surface for 500 milliseconds this mechanic was expected for the season 3 update but did not function as intended that's pretty important for the c4 uh then also for kill streaks ledge hanging after equipping the guardian will no longer cause the player to become uh unable to fire and then on the remote turret attempting to deploy while swimming will no longer cause the player to uh become unable to fire either now let's jump over to the war zone patch notes so we've also got our april 9th update here and then uh initially we've got an update for rebirth island resurgence ground vehicles have been enabled on rebirth island so you'll be able to actively use those weapon updates all right let's see what we've got going on here on the fgx horus optic attachments with an integrated laser are no longer compatible with the suppressor muzzle same deals over in multiplayer you just can't double up 
You're not telling me that they're not fixing the Renetti here. I assume that would have been an SMGs, but it's a pistol. But uh, I'm sorry. Three weapon updates uh, on the TAC Evolver. They removed the duplicate Zem 35 compensators. So same deal as multiplayer on the Moors on the variable optic. They removed the ability to uh, equip this incompatible attachment. So the SVA buff was only for multiplayer and we didn't nerf the Renetti. How did we not nerf the Renetti in this update? This is by far the most broken gun in the game. The only weapon worthwhile to use in the close range right now because nothing competes with it. And we have a meta update and they don't nerf the Renetti. I'm not gonna lie. I knew there were patch notes coming today because we had the title update revealed on the uh, database and the preload for it on PlayStation. And I was so confident that the Renetti was gonna be nerfed. I am baffled that it was not. I fully expect with maybe tomorrow's routine weekly update when we see, uh, you know, the new weekly challenges and new event go live, we'll see some more patch notes maybe with that. If that's the case, I'll keep you guys updated and we'll be covering tomorrow's update anyways. But wow, that's rough. I'm very surprised and disappointed by that. We also have some bug fixes to go over though. Uh, fix an issue preventing tactical and lethal equipment from auto picking up. Okay, that's a huge one. Going back to some positive stuff here with like knives and smokes or Semtexes. If you burned yours and then ran through a pile and there were some smokes and some Semtexes in the pile of loot, it wouldn't automatically pick them up. You'd have to stop and fumble through all the loot to try and pick them up. So that's really solid there. Fix an issue preventing players from shooting their weapon while ledge hanging after picking up a guardian. Same deal as multiplayer. Fix an issue preventing the red outline on the border of the minimap to display when you're actually being able to be seen on an advanced UAV, so just giving you more information that enemies are going to know where you're at. Fix an issue preventing one shot protection from functioning in ranked play resurgence. So this has been a big problem uh, since the launch of season three. Players are constantly getting one shot sniped in ranked, but there's no one shot snipers in ranked at all. Uh, but some were glitching out and actually one shotting. Huge problem with the meta there. So that's now been fixed. And now you'll only see Renetti's there. Uh, fix an issue causing too many and UA. Wait. Fix an issue causing too many and UAV towers to spawn in ranked play resurgence. I'm just going to say too many UAV towers is what that's supposed to read. They also fixed an issue that prevented players from equipping unlocked items in the rank overview with the ranked rewards menu. So a couple of solid bug fixes there. The most disappointing meta update we maybe have had in MW3 so far. I cannot believe that they left the Renetti untouched or didn't vault the conversion kit, at least while they balanced it. I, uh, wow, I did not expect to have that be today's situation but regardless all right hold your horses we do have an update on the Renetti it's not the one you want to hear it's not the one I want to hear because it doesn't include a nerf for the Renetti right now the Raven did post right after the update patch notes went out because everyone was saying did y'all forget about the Renetti and they said hey we are working on adjustments to the Renetti which will be released in the near future so again we've got our routine weekly update dropping this Wednesday that'll include maybe some gameplay changes and perhaps a Renetti nerf there or Perhaps we see some surprise patch notes again later on this week. Per usual, I'll get you guys covered with the info as soon as it's out. Those are the new meta updates and changes for today's uh, title update. All the patch notes broken down. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you are new here or you simply have not subscribed yet, every day I got you covered with news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns. It's all right here. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you later. Peace out.